Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tom. I am an Open University student studying computing and IT. And today I'm going to be talking about one of my year two modules that I've done this year, which was TT284 Web Development. I will be going through the course, how it's split down into assessments, different types of assessments you do, roughly what type of topics you cover, and also any like tips that I have for this module if you're going to study it yourself or you are looking to study it yourself to give you a better understanding on whether or not it's the right thing for you to be looking at. This module is split into four blocks. Um, the block each has some form of assessment. Um, the four blocks are as follows. Block one is basic web, web technologies, which is based from October to mid-November. Block two, is web architectures which is from mid-november to the very beginning of february might be the end of, end of january for next year block three is mobile content and applications beginning of february mid-march very short and block four is managing application development which is from mid-march to the beginning of may and then it goes into ema project which is which you've got from the beginning of may to the beginning of june um this the whole module, as pretty much explained by the title itself, Web Technologies, all about building websites. Um, you go over various different coding methods from um, JavaScript to PHP. Um, those are your main big ones, really, HTML as well, and um, style sheets, CSS style sheets. Um, very, very, very interesting. If you have not done coding before, really, like myself, um, it can get a little bit intimidating at times because there's a lot of times where it kind of throws stuff at you and then expects you to do it and then you, you kind of get lost sometimes so you have to reread some questions obviously if you're if you're very familiar with html um, javascript php very familiar with that type of um, coding language you can absolutely fly through this course no problem whatsoever um, you will absolutely just fly through it. Um, all of the course is online. Um, there's no books in this course. Um, like I say, it's split into four blocks and each block has some sort of assessment. Block one, two, and three each have a TMA. Um, block four is right before your EMA. So the most, the vast majority of the EMA is based on block four, but there's also other aspects that cover the rest of the blocks as a typical EMA does. Um, as it's a second year module, I'm guessing you don't you already know what an EMA is and what a TMA is. Um, off the top of chance, for some reason you don't know what TMA is, tutor mark assessment, which is typically a set of questions that you hand into your tutor to mark. EMA is end of module assessment, which typically covers all the topics that you've learned that year and is then sent to a different tutor that you've not that isn't your direct tutor. Uh, it is marked um, by them and you don't receive your work back for your EMA. It's a little bit annoying because you kind of want to know where you've messed up, but oh well. Um, so throughout the entire of the blocks, um, you learn the basics of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP, as I've explained. You get access to an online server which you can use to communicate with for PHP because PHP is a server language. Um, you're expected to use some form of um, text editor on your computer. Um, they recommend like Notepad and um, brackets, which is what I used. Um, obviously, you can use whichever if you're used to I don't know, Notebus, Notebook, Notepad plus plus, or you know, whichever. There's hundreds of text editors out there. Um, if you're used to a different one, you can use that as long as you don't mind it looking different from the photos that are <laughs> given on their. Um, on the modules information. Each block is split into different parts. Um, typically, yeah. So block one is split into six parts. A brief history of the internet, the role of standards and the anatomy of basic web pages. The process is in the process of designing for a usable and navigable Navigable, 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 usable, and 
navigate to the navigable navigable web the process of designing for a usable and navigable web i i don't know why i'm blanking out on how to say that properly an access an accessible web the css box model um, web type web typography color and graphics and working with forms and collecting data that's all block one block two is architectures client-side javascript and the dom and um, client-side validation and feedback and then two different parts that are on php um both on the server side basically uh, how it, handling data with php and databases with php and then there's part six which is client server interaction which is a basic web application um it's very as long as you give yourself plenty of time it's pr very very straightforward as long as you give yourself plenty of time which i always didn't so <laughs> kind of struggled at times but that's speeds better when you don't give yourself the full time block three is the mobile device responsive design further developments in responsive design developing web apps for the client side developing web apps php and server side and javascript part six is creating a working mobile web app and then part four is maintaining service managing projects managing assets practical version control system testing and system security um so that's all the different parts each with their own tma apart from block four which is directly behind the ama um tma as as you expected there's some um, essay writing and also practical um, aspects to it um the tma is split 50 50 between practical side and your text essay writing skills side um, so if you do really struggle with the coding and don't understand it as much don't fret do what you can do um, and then hopefully you can make up for the marks in the essay writing and vice versa if you're really good at the coding and you just struggle really to get your words out and get it down and explain yourself properly in the word essay don't worry about it it's even um, you should be able to ma make up for the side and um, for whichever one you struggle with you make up with the one that you you're more strong in um the ama was it's okay you start off with the design tasks which is more basically block four stuff so you make um you make a basic design of what web page you want and then you turn that web page into more of a reality they don't expect a spitted final polished website at the end of it it's all about design work and making design work into a reality rather than making it a finished product just making it usable um so don't worry too much about that the email also does come with more essay writing skills um explaining why how you to test what you want to test and what sort of testing method you would use um different methods for security um different what security measure, measures would be used when and where and what that avoids if you use that security measure and, and there's a big there's a big plus on the practical version control um there's a super basic way of it practical version control uses a software where it keeps tracks of the different times you essentially save that project so you can always go back to an older one if you mess up really badly um when you come to do that in block four um concentrate on that a lot because you need to implement that early on in your EMA because there's a big there's a good chunk of marks for using that practical version control and you, but you need to start that from the, right at the beginning so yeah get used to that give your EMA a good read through before you start anything just plan out what you're going to do um, another part of the EMA actually there is a work plan and um, that's due in I think that was due in April um, the end of April with the work plan and that's like part one of the AMA it's only worth like five percent of the marks but that's you planning out how you would how you're going to do each step how much time you're going to give yourself and also planning what to do if something props up in your life or some sort of issue occurs which prevents you from doing your work that's also included 
as part of the EMA, and then you reflect on that work plan in your second part of the EMA, you know, the, the actual EMA itself, you reflect on that work plan, seeing whether that works, seeing whether you, it came, it was helpful, or whether you'd use that again, that sort of things. So, I feel like I was proper waffled on, but hopefully I've kind of explained myself. I feel like I've talked too fast, but I don't know. If you've got any questions, which I'm sure you would have after watching this website, you're probably thinking what the hell is he ruffled on about, feel free to comment and or message me on Instagram, Twitter. I try and get back to people on Twitter and Instagram as fast as I can, really. Um, I don't always notice because it doesn't come up as a notification. I have to go on the messages to see blah. Um, but if you comment, I usually get back to comments straight away. Well, as quickly as I come through on my phone anyway. So feel free to come back to me on that and I will get on to you. <laughs> I'll reply as soon as I can. Or like I say, just tweet me or direct message me on Instagram, Twitter, whichever. And um, yeah, apart from that, I will uh, see you all in a bit. Thanks for watching. See ya.